How did the United States contain communism? On April 25th, 1945, at the Elbe River, these two powerful armies from America and Russia had cut Hitler's Germany into two parts. This was a great time for these two powers, but this celebration would not last long. See, what might have been a warm handshake at the end of the war was met with political and economic differences. The U.S. economy depended on capitalism, and the Soviets sought communism. Com communism wanted an end to private property and sought to find community ownership. Stalin at the time believed that Russia's future was bright and that spreading communism throughout the world would not be a hard task. The United States feared this. This tension between the two powers as the Soviets tried to spread communism throughout the world became known as the Cold War. The tension between the two created what was an iron curtain, U.S. and the Western democracies versus the USSR and Eastern Europe. Western democracies represented by NATO and the USSR and the Eastern Europe by the Warsaw Pact. The Soviet expansion had to be met with U.S. containment. But how? Initially, two plans were developed. One was called the Truman Doctrine and the other the Marshall Plan. The Truman Doctrine provided aid to those fighting communism like in Greece, and the Marshall Plan sought to provide economic recovery to make communism less appealing. See more two-minute reviews at youtube.com slash tfreeze11.